Hello friends, in this video we will learn the theory of 28BYJ48 5V unipolar DC motor and in the next video we will control this unipolar stepper motor with the help of this stepper motor driver board ULN2003 with the help of Arduino. Now let us see how a unipolar stepper motor works. The stator of the 28BYJ48 stepper motor has four windings, winding A, B, C and D. One end of all the coils are connected to plus 5 volts, that is this one, this red wire connected to plus 5 volt. And the other end of each coil is pulled out as wire, orange, pink, yellow and blue respectively. The rotor of the stepper motor consists of a permanent magnet with south and north pole as shown in this picture. A stepper motor can be made to rotate only if the coils are energized in a logical sequence. When the coils are energized, magnetic field is produced around it. Here we can see that if we apply a negative voltage to this coil B, that means the coil B is now energized, then the north pole of the rotor comes to this position. And then if we energize coil D here, if we apply a negative voltage to coil D, then we can see the rotor come to its position. That means the rotor moves from B to D with a degree of 90. So this is called full step clockwise. This picture shows how the rotor complete one revolution. That means one complete cycle. If we energize coil A first, then the rotor will come to its position. Then if we energize coil B, then we can see the rotor moves from A to B. Then if we energize C, then the rotor will move from B to C. And then if we energize coil D, then the rotor will move from C to D. And if again we energize A, then the rotor will move from D to A. And thus one complete cycle will be completed. This picture shown here is one phase on. That means we energize one coil at a time. If we energize two coils at a time, then also we can rotate the rotor. Here we can see if we energize coil A and B at a time, then the rotor will come to the middle point of the coil A and B. Then if we energize coil B and C together, then the rotor will come to the middle point of B and C. Then again, if we energize C and D, the rotor will go to this position. And if D and A, then rotor will go to this position. And after that, if we we'll energize this A and B, then the rotor will complete a full rotation. Thus, we can rotate the rotor of the stepper motor by applying current to its coil in a logical sequence. Here we have shown 90 degree rotation only for understanding. And we can also rotate it anticlockwise by changing the logical sequence. This picture shows how we can rotate the rotor of the motor in anticlockwise direction. If we apply a negative voltage to coil C, then we can see the rotor come to its position. That means the south pole towards this C coil. Then if we energize coil A, in the next slide, we can see if we then energize coil A, then the south pole of the coil moves, moves from C to A in anticlockwise direction. Thus, we can sense the direction of the rotor, that means the rotor shaft, by changing the logical sequence to the coil. In case of 28BYJ48 stepper motor, mm -hmm. the four coils are divided into small parts and then those parts are energized. 
it requires 32 steps to complete one revolution but again the motor has 1 is to 64 gear reduction ratio so to tell 32 into, into 64 that means 2048 steps is required to complete one rotation that means we have to send 2048 times pulse from our microcontroller to complete one revolution in this video we have discussed only the full step technique to run the motor there are also half step and micro stepping technique to run this motor in the next video we will control this motor with the help of this driver and we will use an arduino uno board to control this that means we will control 2048 pulses with the help of our arduino board and we will rotate this motor so thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos and you can also buy electronics components projects and source boards modules from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com thank you